Hey everybody, this is my little 10 gallon red clawed crab tank and we seldom see any activity from this tank. I seldom see the crabs. Uh, they are still in there. I do put water sprite in there fairly regularly and as you can see there's not much water sprite left. That's because the crabs are in there munching away at it. So they are still in there and one of them is out right now. Hopefully we're going to be able to get a little bit of a look at her. The tank's kind of in an awkward position on the floor. But if we look right in front of her rock where she lives... You can see she's out. And a minute ago I did see her claws moving around. So she's out foraging for food. And I haven't seen the other one today. Uh, not long ago, one of them sloughed. There is the uh, discarded carapace off in the right-hand corner. Let's see if we can zoom back in a little bit with that lamp being in the way. So if you actually look right off, uh, right where that gray rock sort of meets the glass, if you see that sort of brownish material, in the angle in between that's actually the back of a shell or a carapace of the crab and that I believe is the nice fresh new shell so I'm pretty sure this is the one that sloughed and then occasionally I do see another one in there that's male he's got the big fat boxing glove red claws on him and I haven't seen him in a couple of days though I wish there was a little more activity, a little more excitement I could show you, but that's about it. I seldom get to see even this much. So it is about time to get in there and try to do a bit of a water change. I've topped the water off several times since I set this tank up, but being that it's on the floor, I've got to use like a turkey baster or something to suck some of the water out to replace it, and it is brackish water. So once I do a water change in my brackish tank, I'll probably get in here and do a little bit of work on this tank too. And next time I get around to doing anything with my little 29 gallon tank here, I can grab some of that water sprite out of there. And that's where that comes from. Oh look, we got a little bonus. My striped Raphael is out and about. just been making my way around feeding the tanks so that was kind of exciting so let's see if we can come over this way and get a different angle on her I don't know if it's my imagination or not, but that seems to be a lot bigger than I remember. I know it's hard to get a perspective or scale, but, and especially with my finger, um, from here all the way, well, I'm not even going to try that because you don't know what point of my finger I'm looking at. That wasn't going to work out at all. It's just really hard to show you exactly where the both sides of this crab are that little black dot in front of the crab almost makes it look like that's one of the crab's eyes but it's not that's right in front of the crab the sort of rounded point to the left there is its left eye and its right eye is actually just right up against the glass so that's how wide the face on that thing is and a good portion of its back legs and body are still underneath that rock Oh, she moved, so I guess that was exciting. So, all right, everybody, I can't stand here bent over any longer. Like I said, one of these days we'll see about maybe finding a little bench or a table or something. I can set this here on the corner, and we'll at least get it up off the floor and make it a little easier to look at. So make sure you're subscribed. You won't miss anything I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget this one is my red clawed crab tank. Thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon in the next one.